Hey, what's up, Adrian here. This is the Mink Coil Paste uh, product, and I want to make a video, quick video, just to talk to you a little bit more about this, uh, maybe answering some questions that you might have about the product. First of all, this is, as the name says, it's a paste, uh, so it's, um, it's not liquid, it's more like a cream, but it's hard. So I think, I would say it's kind of like butter if you want, uh, but once you, uh, take it out of the pot and start applying it to your footwear or other leather you want to condition uh, the heat caused by you rubbing it into the leather will melt this uh, paste and turn it a little bit more liquidy so it's it's fairly easy to apply to be honest in this aspect it's much better than the mink oil uh, liquid since it's not uh, that runny and messy as the liquid might be this product helps with waterproofing preserving and conditioning all smooth leathers and vinyl don't use it on new back or suede i'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute uh, it helps also with the squeaky footwear so if you have boots shoes sneakers that squeak uh, this uh, product will help with that you just take it a little bit and apply it to the tongue or where the laces are which is uh, the area that usually footwear squeaks also with sandals you know whatever it's made out of leather that's a little bit squeaky apply a little bit of this uh, mink oil paste to the area and it's going to soften the leather uh, therefore stop the squeaking also this product is not for cleaning keep that in mind okay so don't buy this product and just apply it to your leather thinking that it's gonna clean and condition the leather uh, first use something like a saddle, saddle soap or something like that in order to clean the leather that's what I'm using for my uh, leathers uh, at least for my footwear saddle soap and then once the leather is clean apply this to condition it uh, also don't apply this on top of dirty leather it's just gonna be a mess <laughs> so first clean the leather using a leather cleaning product and then apply this minkle paste to condition it just a quick honest observation here when it comes to the waterproofing um, feature if you want the waterproofing claims of this uh, product uh, now don't apply this to your boots to your sneakers to your uh, jackets if you want to thinking that this is going to you know uh, help you walk through rain no problem uh, or through water you, you know with your sneakers with your shoes because it won't <laughs> you're gonna be in, a, uh, in for a big surprise the, the waterproofing is more for uh, protecting the leather from you know getting soaked with water and also uh, from uh, stains that water might leave on your leather once uh, the leather is dry but it's not waterproofing per se so it's uh, more water repellent if you want right I use this uh, product mostly with my uh, leather wear boots and boots in general uh, that are made of leather of course or vinyl um, but you can use this product on jackets, handbags, gloves, uh, sofas, chairs, uh, car seats and dashboard as well if they're made out of leather or vinyl again and many other uh, leather or vinyl products. The, the smell is a bit strong though if you want to use it like uh, I just said on, on your car seats or your dashboard. Um, it's a bit uh, strong especially when used in uh, small closed spaces as a car is. Um, and at least for me but feel free to try it you know it's safe to use uh, on all these products keep in mind that it will darken the some light leather colors like the tobacco crazy horse leathers um, is going to make them a little bit darker I mean look at how uh, much darker my thoroughgood boots look like after I apply the mink oil paste compared to how the boots were when um, I didn't apply any um, conditioner to them so I think it's an important detail. Personally, I do like it. I don't mind, but it's an important detail if you uh, care about, you know, changing the color of the of the leather. Now, some people might think that this is a hundred percent mink oil product, while other people uh, I've seen saying that this product has no mink oil in it. But I found uh, this document in here, which contains uh, product disclosure information, where you can see the ingredients uh, that you know you can find in this uh, mink oil paste and we see here that it has some mink oil in it now what percentage i don't know because it doesn't say uh we know the percentages of each one of these products i guess it's a uh, it's a business uh, secret if you want to but at least you know that it has some mink oil in it and this uh, and it's not 100 mink oil 
so it's fairly easy to apply again make sure you clean the leather you're gonna apply it to uh, then uh, use gloves by the way I mean I haven't used gloves uh, first time but second time I did and in every single time after that because the strong uh, smell of this uh, paste is going to impregnate into your skin and you're gonna have it on your skin maybe until next day even after three showers so use gloves then you just scoop it a little bit using a cloth uh, if you want or if you have gloves you just uh, take it with your hands and work it into the leather what I also like to do especially for my uh, Goodyear welted boots is to take some paste and cover all the Goodyear welt around you know covering the stitches and the Goodyear welt um, because if you're working in an industry like mine where you know in construction by the way if uh, you go through mud concrete uh, chemicals and other things like that this is going to protect the Goodyear welt the stitches therefore helping the boot last longer i haven't seen anybody doing it it's just uh, I, I just think it's a good practice and lastly leave the boots to dry or not to dry but to rest a little bit allow the paste to get absorbed into the leather if these are your work boots like in my case i don't mind to put them on straight away and go to work because the boots are gonna get dry anyway but if these are your casual boots i would suggest to leave them to rest and until the next day and then next day get a uh, clean cloth dry uh try to remove any excess and buffer them a little bit why is that is because this is going to attract a lot of dust and dirt and i'm i'm telling you you're not going to be happy about this another thing you're not going to be happy about uh, applying this product is if you apply it on suede or new back leathers please don't do that i mean i've done this in order to test and to show you know the results because i like to do that i like to test and then speak out of experience uh, with you and that ruined my caterpillar new bag leather work boots uh, but not in all honesty nothing uh, it's uh, damaged because they are work boots and i you know keep wearing them but if you apply this to your beautiful shoes beautiful uh, new back casual leather and, uh, boots and shoes well uh, you are going to ruin them and I tried to recover it you know washing it uh, washing the boots with uh, saddle soap so many times uh, it didn't work so the fuzziness of the swish of the uh, this type of leather the characteristic of this leather it's it's gone right now the boots are just uh flat if you want they're, they're smooth that's all for me I hope this uh, video this review of this mink oil paste uh, leather conditioner was helpful to you in any way thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much. See ya.